we spend a long time early in our learning journey, learning about whole numbers and how numbers are put together and how the number system works and place value and all of that sort of thing. And fractions can sort of blow all of that out the water, can't it? It can feel like a completely different kettle of fish. Um, yeah. But th there's something about comparing fractions, which I think really challenges our understanding of what a fraction is. And I think if you've got a really good conceptual understanding, I was cutting a pizza up last night, Becky, and um, I've got my seven-year-old daughter with me. And I said, All right, okay, we're, I'm, I'm cutting this into six equal piece, pieces. What What is each piece going to be? Totally ignoring the fact that, you know, they weren't equal pieces because obviously I wanted the bigger pieces. Say, yeah. and I wanted the bigger pieces, Becky, but wait, let's just pretend that they were equal pieces. And she said six quarters, which, you know, a, again, it just shows that she's got an idea of that the whole has been split up into pieces and we've got names for yeah. these pieces. But she's not, at, you know, start of year three, hasn't got onto things more than halves and quarters. And we talked about, you know, it's not six quarters. Is it six halves? Again, we're just grasping for, for things here. Um, and so I think you really have to have that conceptual understanding of actually really what does a quarter mean? What does a half mean? And then you can compare the two of them, can't you? And think, okay, if I really understand that, then as long as we're talking about the same whole, then I can see that a half is bigger than a quarter. I don't need to do any other maths than that, do I? I can do that. And therefore, I can see that a sixth is going to be smaller than a quarter as well. So I think if you can, if that's really, really secure, then actually this bit isn't too tricky. Where it gets tricky is where the numerator becomes more than one, doesn't it? And you're comparing yeah. something like, I don't know, seven eighths and uh, 15 19ths or something like that and you think okay well i know both of them are nearly a whole but i don't know you know i've got to then use multiplicative reasoning and proportionality and things to to find common denominators and there's so many steps to it that just having that conceptual knowledge helps but doesn't solve it for you you really do have to get yeah. to a procedure at that point to, to be able to work it out i think um so i always encourage kids to compare it to a half first you know is it bigger than a half or smaller than a half will that help you you know if i know it's three quarters or three fifths then i know that a quarter is bigger than a fifth so if the numerators are the same i can work it out that way but at some point you you do have to have a procedure to you know to help you and so yeah. that's where it, it can just become particularly tricky so that was my number three that's my number three 